did not grace me with great beauty or tremendous intelligence. He did, however, to yeah, my family laughed. <laughs> I, I do some really bad things. <laughs> but anyhow, he did, however, give me four incredible gifts that shaped my life. He gave me two wonderful parents in Harold and Eleanor Cochran. Hard-working and loving parents who I'm sure would be very proud of my accomplishments in life. He gave me six brothers and sisters, three of whom are directly responsible for me being up here tonight. You see, I grew up between two brothers, older brother Craig and younger brother Mark. One or the other always had me out there on the uh, fields playing catch or hitting tennis balls against them. I always considered them my very best friends and my most loyal supporters. I have to thank my sister Karen, who came back from her first tennis lesson at Channing Park in the summer of 1964 and said, go get 25 cents from mom, take the bike and the racket and get down. Your age group's about to start. Well, I did just that and at age 11, I was hooked on the game. My third God-given gift, as I discovered around that time, was an abundance of athletic talent. And finally, he put the right friends, teachers, coaches in my path to help make me the successful tennis player I became. Besides my brothers and too many players to mention, I must also give credit to my female hitting partners of Judy Beckwith, Kathy Merzen, and Ann Castle. We practiced countless hours and went to tournaments every weekend together for a span of eight to ten years. The most credit goes to a wonderful man named Ed Stowe, a local tennis guru and enthusiast who spent hundreds of hours drilling me and teaching me the strokes, which I have been told numerous times were textbook perfect. He passed away about a month ago at age 95, unfortunately, otherwise he would be here as one of my special guests. My high school career, I had the same two coaches in Maxine Turek, the familiar name to a lot of you in this room, and Carol Anderson. Our Upstate 8 conference consisted of East Aurora, DeKalb, Naperville, Larkin, Wheaton, East Aurora, and uh, Naperville. I played the number one singles position, as it said on my plaque, all three years and went undefeated 21-0. Our team played well enough my junior and senior year to win back-to-back -back conference championships. One of the reasons I pursued this award was to be able to publicly thank my teachers, coaches, role models, namely Maxine Turek, Carol Anderson, Tony Zimmerman, Sandy Newbel, Doris Baldridge, who pushed for more equality for women and I'm sure we're underpaid for what they provided for us in the late uh, 60s and early 70s. Myself and fellow female athletes are the people we are today because we had their backing. I just remember high school as the best of times and I was always the happiest when I was on the tennis court with my teammates and representing Elgin High School. <coughs> we're getting there, halfway done. Next up for me was two years at uh, Elgin Community College. My freshman year still lacked any formalized athletics for women. Sophomore year, I did compete on the women's first basketball team, and come springtime, the powers that be allowed girls to compete on the men's tennis team. I just remember feeling bad for my male opponents. <laughs> Not that I was that great, but... Listen, uh, it just seemed like it was a no-win situation for them. Say they uh, happen to beat me. They come off the court and their teammates say, well, big deal, you beat a woman. Okay? If I would beat them, they come off the court and their teammates would say, dude, you lost to a woman. <laughs> so um, I was never uh, treated so nicely in my whole life as I was by my teammates at ECC and uh, the opponents we were up against. Because I, uh, I left ECC with an associate's degree and I was off to NIU, because I transferred from a junior college, I was told it would take two and a half years to complete my education to become a teacher. That was just fine with me as I had three years of eligibility left. Dr. Ann Lewis, 
was my coach all three years. My first year, um, I was number two singles and number one doubles. Mary Ellen, the senior number one player, and I won the very prestigious Millican University Tournament. My last two years were highly rewarding, not only for the uh, success we had, but the fun and the friends that I made. I was very fortunate to have my childhood friend, Judy Beckwith, as my doubles partner for the last two years of my college. She could not be here tonight, otherwise I would have her stand up and so she could be uh, known to you. My senior year brought the first ever IAIAW State College Tennis Tournament held at Eastern Illinois University. Judy and I had been playing quite well that season and were crowned the doubles champions, beating the University of Illinois team uh, in a hard three-fought set. I graduated from NIU with a degree to teach physical education K-12. With the teaching field saturated, I landed a job at the Racquet Club in Crystal Lake in 1976, becoming their first ever woman teaching pro. It was during this time that I met Tom Canula, who I la later married in 1979. After teaching three wonderful years at the racquet club, I longed to teach and coach at the high school level. Wonderful timing as U46 was opening up Streamwood High School. So I became their first head girls tennis coach and also baby basketball and softball. After two years at Streamwood, I stopped teaching and coaching to start my own family. My three children joined me here tonight. I could not be prouder to say I am the mother of Betsy, Patty, and Danny. Tom and I were privileged to coach our children in a variety of sports at St. Thomas More School. So with the children getting older, I felt the desire to go back to work, and as luck would have it, U46 was opening up yet another new high school this time in Bartlett. While at Bartlett, I coached the girls' tennis team, as it said, for three sectional championships, as well as uh, many trips downstate. I was also very pleased to be the head coach that took um, golf, uh, golf player and badminton players to state also. Most coaches never see a state competition uh, in their lifetime, and uh, I was uh, happy to be able to uh, experience that with my players in three different sports. So that will always be a uh, very fond memory for me. So final words to sum up what my sport of tennis has meant to me comes very eloquently from my high school coach. It was given to me on November 5th, 1970. If you do the math, um, this sheet of paper here is 44 years old. Actually, looks better than I do. <laughs> it's held up really well. So I'll finish with this last bit here. To have won all the tennis matches you played at EHS should give you a feeling of great satisfaction. Permit us all to share this happy feeling with you. What you have done belongs in part to everyone at EHS. The most meaningful satisfaction is for how you play the game. It belongs to you and you alone and can never be shared with us. That you gave with your time and talent, shared your knowledge, were honest and sincere, expressed your concern for the team, and were gracious and modest in winning. These are the things that should make you feel especially good about yourself and what you have done. It is your joy to hold, in your own way, at your own time, alone and apart from us. It belongs to you, and is indeed the best reward. Thank you so much.